The Media Arts Council is presenting a unique exhibit in March. Each of the 12 Mac Gallery artists in the cooperative have chosen three of their most memorable pieces of artwork to display, pieces that mean a great deal to them for one reason or another, perhaps a distinguished reward or a possible landmark in their artistic development. Matiko Mamaladze, Building Emotionally Charged and Deeply Meaningful Scenes. Impression. This painting is based on a passionately honest and forthright memoir titled Under This Beautiful Dome that is a candid portrait of true love between two women. Written by Terry Matchler. I first heard the interview with Terry on WHYY and I could not sleep that night. I was immediately drawn to this love story. So I spent next several weeks in my studio working on my composition. After finishing the piece, I ran to a Barnes and Noble, found the book and started reading it. To my surprise, everything in the painting matched with this story, except for the flowers. I found out in the book that Penny loved sunflowers, but I had white lilies in my painting. So I rushed home and changed the bouquet. The memoir doesn't have a happy ending, but my painting captures the sweetness and tenderness of their relationship. Freddie Mercury sings, the show must go on, and I shout back with my art, the show will go on. There's a blank canvas sitting in my studio, waiting for me to respond to the tragedy in Orlando. I was shaken to my core. I had to react and express my emotions. So I started to paint. Shapes appeared, emotion poured onto the canvas. I started without any preliminary sketches or thumbnails. This process is intense and emotional. As sad as this horrifying tragedy is, this painting freezes the moment when those people were the happiest. This is how we will remember them. The title, The Show Will Go On, emphasizes this and makes it a hopeful image. Bright and cheerful colors are backing the figure symbolic of the love and mood. I've created this piece to show my deepest emotions and support for those innocent people who did not plan to end their lives that day. They were happy having fun. It is that happy moment that I've captured and want to imprint in our memories forever. I not only feel the pain and the urge to express myself, but I also feel obligated to be a part of a path of recovery. Because I am an artist, I have the ability to express emotions and make them unforgettable. And to have this image imprinted in people's memories. That's what art does. It immortalizes the moments that should never be forgotten. What could be more romantic than the act of trying to capture on canvas a feeling that is at once so elusive and so universal? We Belong to Love is the title of this painting. The couple is depicted surrounded by symbols of the newness of spring, including flowers, water, and the morning light. The whole painting is balanced with soft blues, grays, purples, and different shades of green. The couple is captured holding one another closely as if they don't want to be separated. We will feature our usual second Saturday live virtual opening March 13th at 4 p.m. 
Join us for a chance to learn something new about the journeys of our artists and see how their art will deepen and enrich your own experience. Remember, save the date. Virtual opening Saturday, March 13th at 4 p.m. at mediaartscouncilgallery.org where the artists will speak about their singular works and take questions from the audience. Thank you.